Hi Capricorn, welcome to your life after the retrograde forecast for couples. Now please take note that this is only a general reading, okay? And it doesn't really apply to all those Capricornians out there. Let's take a look. Um, I'll be using four different spreads with four different decks. How do you see each other? The hurt feelings. Where do you go from here? And the bottom line. And hopefully this will all help. You know, this reading will help to all those Capricorns who's going through a betrayal, who's going through a cheating, and is going through a rough patch in their relationship, okay? This is you, Capricorn. Your partner who's leaving. You who is actually celebrating a success. Your partner is acting childish. And you who is suffering from betrayal by a fire sign. Let's take a look at the how they hurt each other. Okay. It actually flipped over. Okay, this, you know, in this cards, in this Rider Waite, this is the Three of Swords. Okay? And the sun also came out. So, it looks like there is going to be, like, the sun is, the sun will soon be peeking through the dark clouds. Meaning that the storm will be over soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Right. You are going through the storm alone. Sometimes you feel so alone. You want it to be, you know, all you want right now, even though you have that stability, you have the money. It's like you just wanted to be happy. You just want to have that peace of mind. Well, we'll see about the bottom line. There will be some changes in your home environment. And there will be some... It's like you're also planning to go for a... Like a house move. Investing in the property or buying a new property. For you to prepare for your future. And you're... You know, eventually you're going to get it. You're going to do it. You're going to have it. You're going to have enough money. And it will push through and go through. However, you know, when... Um, like why they say... When your career is soaring up high, then your love life is on fire. And speaking of fire, especially for those Capricorns who's with a fire sign. Your lovely fire sign is planning to leave or opting to leave or have, have you know, or they've already left. It's like they're only thinking about themselves. They are not really, you know, it's like they are looking at uh, some other options. And they've already forgotten that they are in a relationship. You know so with you it's like fine it's over i'm done and with your partner they still they still don't know what they want you're they're still like you know mini money mo and you you're ready to go you're ready to leave you're ready to leave everything behind and with you all you want right now is to be more financially stable oh sorry all you, all your partner want right now is to be financially stable. Okay? And your partner, you know that and you're already aware that your partner is betraying you. And there is someone else. And they're also being defensive about it. Yet, you know, your only wish is to have the peace of mind and to have some calm and harmonious life. Even if that means being single. And your partner is looking at a small option or small opportunity. You just want to have a brand new beginning altogether. Your partner is still like, you know, like balancing. As I've said, they're still like trying to mini, me, mini, mini, mo. Okay. They don't know what to choose. They don't know who to choose. They don't know what to say, that what to do, what to think, what to feel. And there will be some news, there will be some communications, and there will be some truth that will also be coming out. 
and your partner will have the audacity to cut you through or to cut you off. And you will somehow know who is the lover. And this is what will, you know, this is what will be like, um, let's say crumbling your partner's world because this is their most well-kept secret that you will soon be discovering who it is. It seems like you're also going to be playing detective and, you know, you're going to find out yourself. You know, Capricorn, you are, you're actually a very strong person and you have a very good heart. The thing here is when you are, when you're happy, you want everyone to be happy and you want everyone to, especially the ones that you love, you want to give them everything that you can and that, you know, what makes, what fulfills them. But once you get hurt and experience the pain and betrayal, this is where the other side of a Capricorn comes out. Okay, now here, lastly, there will be a change of, you know, there will be a change of um, environment. And you know what? Stop wooing your partner. They don't really deserve it. All right. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm just advising you that it's time to start loving yourself and appreciating yourself in this relationship. Don't let other people trample on you and step on you. Now, how do you hurt each other? You are already having a hard time. Like going through the storm alone. Most of the time you feel so alone. Most of the time you feel like you're very isol isolated. You don't have anybody to talk to. And even if you talk to someone, your partner will somehow control you. And may will make a big fuss about it. Okay? You're very financially stable. And you're thinking about somebody from the past or somebody that's far from you. Or you're thinking of moving away. You know, in a very far place. Your partner is kind of swinging back and forth, you know, between two people and one of them is you. And they want to move away. Now, once they move away, they're still going to be coming back or they have plans of coming back because they don't know what they want. And I feel like for you, this foundation doesn't have enough strength or doesn't have enough base anymore. It's already hollow and it's like a... You know, it's just time to rebuild things again and rebuild yourself and rebuild your life right after this demise. And the two of you will still be trying to pull things through. Let's take a look at your where do you go from here. This is your current situation. What what's causing your problem? What you've forgotten to express? What you've forgotten to respect? Your option. The bottom line. This is you, this is your partner. You know, you already know what your partner is actually up to. And don't let them play games with you, okay? Hmm. Your partner will somehow be choosing the water sign, though. Anyway. You are juggling in your options. And you feel like moving away 
is a much better option than just keeping this this relationship okay which is you know that it's gonna be like a it's about to die, you know, or it's about to end. Because you know that you cannot really stand a betrayal. Or you cannot really stand a cheating. Or someone who cheats on you. What you have forgotten to express is that there are too many options right in front of you. There, there are too many options to choose from, to go for. And unfortunately, none of them really counts. What you have forgotten to respect is that, you know, to make things work, how to work things out... And for your partner, you know, it's like you have tried your best to make things work and for your relationship to reach to the next level. But unfortunately, they're the one who already made the decision for themselves to so let them go. And I feel like there's too much of an authority and there's too much of um, combating or um, like a play of authority or like uh, too much competition. And work, you know, work is another issue. Either you're working too hard or your partner doesn't have any work. Or you're just too busy working. Alright. And don't worry because you will be celebrating your own cup of glory. Because you will soon reap the rewards of your hard labor. Because more money will be coming to you. And all of those blessings that has been stuck outside, it will come to you. Okay, without any other effort because it, it really belongs to you. It is meant for you to have it. Now, you right now, you're very hardworking. And I feel like you're always like, you know, looking at your financial security. You want to fence yourself and, uh, you know, prepare for the future. There are a lot of things that you wish and you are ready to begin. Your, you can, you know, reach the top and definitely in a snap of a finger, you can just, you know, have whatever you want. And this is why there's too much insecurities in this relationship. You're about to begin something, but you need to sacrifice or you need to walk away from something that only blocks your full potential. Now, your partner is so sick and tired of their situation or your situation and they want to look for a job. They want to look for their own, you know, money. They want to look for their own resources. And they're going to be very combative. And they're very arrogant, you know. And they're going to be very feisty. Because they're the one who's got a problem. It's not you. And they're the one who's going to be creating more dramas. And unfortunately, I feel like they're going to be choosing the water sign over you. And this is also because of the search of the family. And I feel like they're also planning to live together or move in together. But this woman is a liar. Or this water sign woman. That they're, who is the, you know, that you're in a love triangle with. Your partner wants to marry this woman. But unfortunately, it's going to be like an empty victory. Because it will turn out that this person that they're going to be choosing over you is somewhat phony. And not really for real. They thought that they already made the right decision and they thought that, you know, they already, you know, it's like they won in a lottery by choosing this woman. But unfortunately, as I've said, you know, when the challenge is over, when the game is over, when the party is over, that is where you're going to see the real color of someone. And that is what's going to happen to your partner. So... Leave it all up to them to figure it out, okay? That's no longer your problem. Your main problem right now is how you will, you know, continuously be more successful in your endeavor. And I feel like uh, for now, you will have a choice of healing yourself and being on your own. Which is, I feel like that will help you more, okay? You don't really need somebody who will be dragging you down, so anyway, that's it for you for this time, Capricorn. If you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.